It's time to go one on one with running back Jordan Howard, presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. Rugged, physical. I like to set the tone. That's what you told us on your first day in Philadelphia, April 1st to be exact. Um, you know, run it back to that moment and, and how things have evolved and what your first six months as an Eagle has been like. Uh, my first six months as an Eagle has been uh, pretty great. Uh, you know, along with uh, all my teammates and stuff, they uh, welcomed me in with open arms. Uh, so I felt like I became one of the guys pretty fast and it helped that I knew some people already, but um, it's just been a great experience. I'm enjoying my time here. Yeah, and your very first photo that you posted on good old social media, right? You wasted no time. It was at the airport yeah. <laughs> with your jersey. That was cool. Yeah, I was leaving. I uh, had my driver take a picture of me. Yeah. So. It was genuine. Yeah. That's what you're all about. And, and then if you fast forward to your most recent photo, uh, Thursday Night Football, celebrating a big win with your team in Green Bay. How, how have things changed? How have you changed as a player, as a man, since since that moment that you took the, the photo at the airport? Uh, this became part of the team. Uh, I was just getting here uh, when I took that picture, but uh, just uh, getting in, learning the guys, uh, meeting everybody, and just uh, grinding in camp, uh, preseason, and all that, and just um, having fun. Having fun, 6.15 to play in the first quarter against Detroit. Week three, your first touchdown as an Eagle. What's really going through your mind in that moment? Uh, really just trying to uh, score however I can, but uh, the line did a great job. Tight ends, they did a great job. They made my job easy. I basically walked in. <laughs> you did do that, which yeah. we like to see. Uh, Deuce Staley, case in point, calling you guys a three-headed monster. How about that, huh? Let, let's start with, with Miles Sanders and how you really complement each other. What's it like running with him? Uh, Miles, he can do it all. He can uh, have the speed, he has the power. Uh, he can make people miss. Uh, I envy that. Um, but he, can, he definitely can do it all. He can catch passes out the backfield, catch passes downfield. So he has, he's a complete package. How, how, you talk about having fun. How much fun is it to look over and see this guy and know that you complement each other in terms of playing styles? I'm just fun because he's young. He's a second round pick his first year. So I, he's definitely hungry to prove himself. Uh, I remember being my rookie year, hungry to prove myself. So I know how he's feeling. And how about the OG? Darren Sproles, we said three-headed monster. Uh, you watched him growing up to now be working and having a locker right by him. Uh, you're swapping war stories with him. What's that like, having seen him from the beginning and seeing him grow as a player? Um, it's just been amazing. I uh, got to meet him at the Pro Bowl of my rookie year. He was down there the same time as me. Um, but just watch him practice the way he practices. He carries himself. He finishes every run. He still looks like um, he's just he's just starting out. What have you learned with how he attacks every day? Is is being a professional? Obviously, all of you guys are. But the way that he attacks things, what have you learned from um, him? He's just the ultimate uh, professional. You can tell he's been doing this for a while. Um, he has a routine uh, to get ready um, and how he wants to uh, practice. He sets the tone for us every day. Uh, another OG, Corey Clement. How would you describe his style, and what is it like seeing this guy out on the field? Um, Corey has a lot of talent. He can do a lot. Uh, we saw uh, his rookie year. He did a, he did a lot of stuff. Uh, he's just uh, doing special teams right now, but I know he's ready for his turn. Whenever the numbers get called, he'll be ready because that's the mentality he goes. He's full speed. He has one speed. So Corey definitely is going to bring it whenever he's on the field. Also going back to that uh, introductory press conference on April 1st, you said you were beyond thrilled to uh, – to, to work toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with an MVP caliber player in Carson Wentz. He's, is he back to that 2017 MVP form? What oh, would yeah, you say? He, oh, yeah, he definitely is. Uh, we've had some injuries on the outside and stuff like that, but he's still been carrying us. He can definitely carry this team. Uh, we're only going to go as far as he can take us, but he can take us all the way. The motivation behind it all, your father. Uh, you lost him at the age of 12 uh, to a lung condition. You honor him daily. How? Um, every game I wear a t-shirt. Uh, I've been wearing it since seventh grade. Uh, I had to cut the sleeves off so I could still fit it. Um, I have a band on my arm uh, that says rest in peace to my dad and stuff like that. And then I wear a Pour Me, Fri Pour Me Air Fibrosis Foundation band as well. Uh, that's what he had. So I uh, try to help that foundation out as much as I can. And those letters I know you shared uh, with our sister station at NBC, uh, the, the letters that he would write to you and, and the pregame pep talks, and those live on forever. Win, lose, or draw, right? That's mm -hmm. how he would, he would sign his, his letter. Yeah, win, uh, lose, or draw, yeah. you, you, uh, you're the GOAT no matter what to me. How about that, huh? Uh, your, your mother, Flora, has never missed a game. Never. Good job, moms. Good on you. Uh, since seventh, dating all the way back to seventh grade. Yeah. Yeah. How would you best put into words what, what she means to you and the strength that she's instilled within you? Uh, she just means everything to me. Uh, when my dad died, she just stepped up even more uh, than she already was. Uh, so she made sure I didn't go without any wants and stuff like that. She just sacrificed uh, whatever she could just to see me happy. 
Big ups, Flora. Big ups. Uh, finally, I saw firsthand how much you mean to the city of Birmingham. Uh, crazy to think that UAB was your only offer out of high school. They saw all of this, so good on you. Um, you know, how, what was that like, and how did that experience help shape you when your college football program temporarily shuts down, you're forced to transfer, that's your hometown, they, they, they took a shot on you. How did that experience help mold you the player that you are today? Oh, yeah, I was just thankful. It uh, definitely gave me a chip on my shoulder because I felt like uh, I was better than the offers I had got, so um, it definitely motivated me. And then uh, once they shut the program down, uh, I was definitely saddened about it. Uh, me and a lot of my teammates were, but... Uh, we just try to look at it as a blessing in disguise because a lot of us got to go to bigger schools and uh, show what show we can do against better talent. Yeah, and still UAB for life, right? Mm, definitely. <laughs> and uh, we should note he's wearing the Jordan. He he yeah. he met Michael Jordan in Monaco. Zach's looking <laughs> at us like wrap it up, but I got to get that in as well. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for Thank your time. You. Best of luck this weekend against the Jets. Thank you. All right, that's one on one <laughs> with Jordan Howard, presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. See you next time.